Hey, there you are. So glad you made it here. I was just thinking about you. Well, today I want to show you this whirly gig I'm working on. It's for Deucelick. She's a longtime subscriber to my channel. And uh, she, I actually talked to her four years ago about this whirly gig. And uh, so we're just getting around to making it now. Well, I'll show you what I got going on so far. I got this rocking chair. <laughs> going back and forth. So that's going to be fun. And over here, on this end, I got a seesaw I'm working on. I, I haven't got it working yet. But the grandma is going to be in the rocking chair, rocking away. And then the two grandkids are going to be on the teeter-totter. So that's the whole story. And I got the propeller all made. Check this propeller hub out. I used a resin cast propeller hub. It's got eighth inch slots in here. I used this five minute epoxy. Let me show you this gearing I got on here. I got all this stuff from Pitsco Education. Here's this gear here. Part number 615246. It's a 32 pitch, 22 quarter inch bore. And then I use this gear, 32 pitch, 82 aluminum. It's got a half inch hole in here. So what I did was I bought one of these and it goes into the hole. So that reduces the size of the hole quite a bit. It still won't clamp on the 3 16th inch rod. So I just put um, nuts and clamp it with nuts on, on the rod. I just thread the rod and, and use nuts to clamp it together. You can see I got a nut on either side of that gear. That's how I'm clamping it. On there. 545-584 clamping hub. I like the how it slows down the action. That's going to be really nice. Well, you can see in here a little bit. I cut a 3 8 inch slot and then I just put my bearings in there. I had to chisel out, you know, because the bearing is a half inch, so you have to chisel it out so it's a half inch in there but I like doing that because then it keeps the bearing from going this way you can kind of lock the bearing in by having to chisel out it's kind of a pain in the butt but anyway you could just uh, cut the slot at 7 sixteenths and then the bearings will squeeze in there but they're not locked from going forward and backward see I put little covers over there. I just use toothpicks. And this seesaw, I just been welding together. Let me show you how I got the bearings set up on this lower shaft. Well, I added some uh, pieces of 16th inch brass rod to try to uh, locate these bearings. But then I changed my mind and I decided I wanted the, wanted the bearing out here. So this one is pretty much useless. But So I ended up uh, super gluing it into place. It only matters until I, I get this whole assembly uh, glued into place. I'll use some uh, two-part epoxy glue for that. I've got a half inch hole drilled through here. So, that seems to work pretty good. Alright friends, that's all we got for today. Stay tuned for the progress on the Deucelick Willy gig. I, it's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to start carving the figures. 
Thanks for stopping by. Take care. We'll see you down the trail. Bye now.